Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, some post-fight thoughts on Shaki Foster finally becoming a world champion against Ray Vargas. And what was an interesting 130-pound vacant WBC world title fight. A fight that I was a little surprised uh, happened. Also, th it was an interesting fight for a few reasons. Foster, after a long-ass time being in the rankings of WBC, finally got his world title shot. Was treated like shit by WBC. He had to fight a bunch of eliminators. He had to uh, take the hard road to earn a world title shot. When it comes to the rankings, the sanctioning bodies treated like a, a popularity contest. If you bring the sanctioning fees, if you bring the money, you're going to get ranked pretty quickly. But if you're a Shockey Foster, you got to go through the politics of boxing to eventually get a title shot. But, you know, the reality is if Foster didn't win tonight, it would have been his last and only title shot. So he had to make up for it. It was only going to be his only chance. He was fighting a more popular Mexican fighter, but it was a fight that he should have won. He was the naturally bigger guy. It was an easy bet. He was the natural 130-pounder. The only concern was, was Foster, was he going to get robbed if the fight was close? Fortunately for Foster, the fight wasn't close. Vargas couldn't really do shit. He wasn't effective. He uh, couldn't really land couldn't deal with Foster's speed and his defense. Foster was just better all around, was the better defensive fighter. He was the stronger fighter. He was the more effective fighter going forward and going backwards. So it was a pretty clear-cut unanimous decision. Never rated Ray Vargas. Uh, he, just, he just ain't that good. But, it, but, you know, he gave Foster an opportunity, man. He didn't have to. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know why he took this fight. He, he should have stayed at 126 and fought Figueroa instead. But he gave Foster his chance, and Foster is now champion. So, uh, you know, Foster has Vargas to thank for that. He gave him an opportunity. Otherwise, Foster would have fought for a vacant title against a no-name for much less money, so... 30 pound division is wide open. You got new champions. You got new players in the division. And I would like to see Foster and, and Hector Garcia lock horns at some point. That's a much better fight, a much more competitive fight. Hector's a more complete fighter compared to Ray Vargas. That'll be a more interesting fight. Now, Red Tay is another interesting fight, but. I doubt that fight happens. Well, what else is that, is that at 130 pounds? I don't know. It's a pretty wide open division. Oh, you also got Cordina, right? Joe Cordina is also in the division. And Rakimov as well. So it's pretty wide open. Foster finally is, is a world champion. I was, I was wondering if he was ever going to get a title shot. He finally did and uh, made most of his opportunities. So congratulations to him. It was a hard road. He easily could have gave up on boxing because his journey was not easy. Especially not compared to, uh, you know, Ray Vargas. So, you know, he did it, man. Congrats to him. Clear-cut unanimous decision. Maybe the Hector Garcia will be in his few fight will be in his future for unification. Very doable fight and a very interesting fight. Should happen. So, very easy fight to bet on. The only concern was the politics, if the fight was close. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people took that plus money on Foster. It was pretty clear cut who was going to win this fight if everything was neutral and the judges were on their A game. Foster was the he was the the pick man for sure. I mean, he was the bigger fighter. He was. The natural 130 pounder. He was riding a 10 fight win streak. Vargas is, he's been looking pretty, 
mediocre his last few fights. Don't even think he won the Masayo fight. So we got to attack that plus money. So congratulations to Foster becoming a world champion. I didn't think, I, mean, I was wondering, man, if he was ever going to get a title shot, but he did. So congrats to him. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the fight. Give me your thoughts. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.